YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Anthe Barber coming back at you with another haircut tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna be doing something like a Vinny from Jersey Shore. Stay tuned. I'm gonna jump right into it with my number three wall guard on my clipper with the lever closed, and I'm gonna begin to knock down the top. This is gonna be the desired length. There's no need to remove all the hair because I'm going to be fading everything below the parietal ridge. So I'm going to just make sure that I knock everything down evenly to that point. Now that the top's knocked down, I'm gonna come in with my clipper with the lever closed, creating my first guideline, which is gonna be my bald guide. So I know I'm going to get asked in the comments section, how come on one side you have the clipper this way and on this side you're, you're balding it out this way? And the reason why is I flipped the clipper over because my client has really thick hair and this just allowed me to remove that bulk a little easier. But it's the same thing either way. So now that my bald line was created, using the same clipper, I'm going to come back in this time with the lever fully open, creating my next guideline. Once this guideline is created, I'm then going to use the fade down process, meaning I'm going to close my lever as needed, working my way down until these two guides merge together as one. So I just want to remind everybody, for those of you that may have missed it, or if this is your first time visiting my channel, I have a giveaway going on right now. Um, today's actually the deadline. Well, today's the last day that you could enter that giveaway because tomorrow I'll be going live doing a random comment selector choosing the winner. I'm giving away a Stylecraft Ergo or Evo. I'm going to let the winner decide. So if you want the information on that, make sure you check out the video that I just dropped right before this one. And that's going to give you all the info that you need. And uh, if you're new to the channel, giveaways is something we do all the time. I wouldn't suggest that be the only reason why you subscribe to my channel. But just know that this channel definitely gives back. Alright, so now that I have that blended out, I'm going to come in with my wall number one guard with the lever fully open and I'm going to begin to create and set my next guideline. I'm going to give myself the same amount of space that I gave myself with that previous guide, that way I keep everything consistent with this blend. And once my guide is created with the lever fully open, you'll see that I'll close my lever and I'll begin to blend from the bottom of that guide right back up towards the top of it. So I'm going to take that one close right up to underneath where I left off with that one fully open. And typically that one close will leave some weight behind, but I'll show you how to remove that in the next step. So now that I went through my step work with my number one guard, right where I'm showing you is the weight that was left behind. So I'm going to come in with my wall half guard, this time with the lever fully open, and I'm going to attack right above the weight that I see. Again, that's right above the weight that I see. And then I'm going to use that fade down process, meaning I'm going to close my lever as needed, working my way down until that guide's completely blended out. Thank you. 
one thing i do want to mention is my camera angle right here isn't the greatest it looked good in the camera so i stuck with it but i notice here as i'm watching it now that it doesn't give the the best view to see all these steps take place but just trust the process and know that your boy would never leave you astray So I wanted to switch angles to give a better view of the blend that's coming out but my next step is the wall one and a half guard and I'm coming in with the lever fully open and this time there's no guide to set in this one and a half with the lever open should blend right into that number three closed and for some reason if it doesn't you'll just follow this step up with the number two. So once I clean everything up with the lever fully open, just like the previous guides, I'll then close my lever and continue to clean up everything underneath it. Now that my blend's coming together, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up his beard. And we're trying to leave everything very natural. Um, I'm not sure if you guys do follow Jersey Shore, but Vanny definitely gets everything natural. He doesn't get a sharp lineup. He doesn't get a sharp beard lineup. Um, so we're going to stay true to that. And I'm just going to clean everything up and give my client a very natural but clean look. So at the beginning of most my haircut tutorials, I always post what type of cut this is going to be um, as I'm showing my client doing the little spin thing. This time, I wasn't really sure what to name this cut other than Vinny from Jersey Shore. So after you guys see this final cut, why don't you get active in that comment section below and let me know if I did kill it and achieve the Vinny look or what you would name this cut. So right here I am applying a beard um, balm and the reason why I'm doing this is because my client does have those little stray hairs but he's growing his beard out so we don't want to knock those hairs away we actually want them to, to grow to kind of fill this beard in so I'm going to go ahead and apply that and then brush it out to give it a cleaner look. All right, y'all. So now that we got my boy Vinny looking right, <laughs> nah, for real though. If you got anything useful out this, I ask that you smash that like button. If you're new to my channel, I suggest you stick around. It's only gonna get doper from here. I appreciate y'all. Be blessed and be a blessing. I'm out.